Hey, half the lasagna. Best yet. Look at that. Honey, put it away. Well, what's the matter? I gotta show you something. Well, can I eat while I'm looking? You cannot look at great art with lasagna in your mouth. Michelangelo did. Come on, Dick. I want to show it to you. It's important. I know what you did. Bought a painting at the swap meet? Something extraordinary. Mm -hmm. New young artist, probably? Not exactly. You're gonna love it. How much does it cost? $75. $75? For a Matisse. $75 for an original Matisse? Well, how much do you think I should pay for it? Well, about $100,000 is what you should have paid for it, but for a bad copy, about five bucks, honey. This just might be an original. <laughs> Don't laugh on it! Honey, you are so cute. An original Matisse for $75? What made you think that? Well, I overheard this man say to his wife that he thought it was an original, and then he told me that if I didn't buy it, he would. Mm -hmm. I think I know that guy. He's Mr. Schill. Usually around when you want to buy the Brooklyn Bridge or Swampland in Florida. Dick, he is not a con man. Mm. He gave me his card. He told me that if I ever wanted to sell it, he would buy it for a generous amount. He even took my address. Mm -hmm. Honey, that's what they do. Well, this man had an honest face, and he knows something about this painting. Oh, sure, he knows he's going to get half of whatever you paid for. <laughs> I want to have it appraised. All right, all right. I'll take it down to the studio and I'll have Jeffrey look at it. Jeffrey? Oh, you're set decorator? Yeah. Well, he has an art gallery, you know. Yeah. I'd be happy to confirm the fact that you got yourself rook. Oh, you're so smug. Hey, there's a million to one chance that that's not a fake. You got taken. Take, I can't be taken that easily. Sure you can. Hey, taste this. I made it myself. You made it? Mm-hmm. From scratch. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Not an original, honey. Mama Palermo's. <laughs> be taken. We'll see. Jeffrey St. Susan, please. Jeff? Hi, Dick Preston. Could you drop by the dressing room sometime today just for... Yeah. Well, my wife has gone and bought a painting. I'd like to come by and appraise it for me. Well, she got a bargain on her, right? It's an original Matisse. $75. <laughs> I know it. Well, she won't believe me. Okay, I'd appreciate it, Jeff. Thanks. Bye. Oh, that's fantastic, Dick. Mm -hmm. You own a Matisse? Well, Jenny thinks we do. It's a fake. Well, how do you know it's a fake? Well, you don't buy an original Matisse for $75 at a swap meet. Oh, you never know. I mean, didn't you read about that doctor? He bought this dusty old painting for $5, cleaned it up, and if you any idea what he found underneath? A oh. Rembrandt. Oh, I know, and he sold it for a million dollars. Two. Two million? Two dollars. It was a fake Rembrandt. <laughs> hey, Dick, you ready? Oh, yeah. Well, relax. One of the cameras broke down. We won't be taping for another 10 minutes. Hey, that is a nice Matisse. Good reproduction. You know that's not an original. Oh, yeah, well, I know about art. And an original Matisse you wouldn't put next to an egg salad sandwich. Is that yours? <laughs> no, I think it belongs to Dennis. Hey, Dennis. Yeah. Oh, here's the new page. Are you going to finish this? No. Huh. Oh, thanks. Hey, how much was it? $75. $75? Yeah. Well, it's good, but it's not that good. I'll give you a quarter for it, but that's it. Painting and a sandwich. Well, the one that comes with the pickle, All here. Right. 75 bucks for a picture. Yeah. You must be rich, huh? I was richer yesterday. Yeah. 75 bucks. You know, my father once bought a car for 75 bucks. It was a 36 Hudson Coupe. Man, he loved that car. Every Sunday, all us kids would wash and polish it, and then we'd dress up and pile up in the back seat. You were lucky. I never got to go for rides in the country or anything. Well, neither did we. I mean, that car wouldn't start for anything. <laughs> no, we used to sit there and listen to Pop Curse. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. No, he was happy. For his 75 bucks, he owned a lot of shiny metal, four wheels, and a radio. He'd be sad for you. 75 bucks for a piece of paper. Shame. Sorry. You're sorry? Oh, boy. A man drops a brand new color TV camera, and all he can say is, I'm sorry. Well, listen, I'm sorry, too. Hey, sit down, Mac. Relax, huh? At least I have a few minutes I can eat my sandwich in peace. <laughs> Where's my sandwich? I left a little egg salad sandwich right here. Was it on uh, white with uh, lettuce and mayo? And a pickle? That's it. That's my sandwich. Did you guys see it? Alex ate it. Alex ate it? Why did you eat it? Well, Dennis sold it to me. <laughs> Why did you do that, Dennis? Dick said it was mine. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. First they drop my counter, then they sell my little egg salad sandwich, and that's all they can say is, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll come check the camera. I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> It was a dangerous sandwich anyway, Max. Dangerous? 
How can a little exile sandwich be dangerous? Well, it would almost ruin my painting. Oh, did you do that, Dick? Very good. <laughs> your proportions are a little off. But your colors are nice. Max, it's a Matisse. Oh. Then I guess the proportions are right. <laughs> good morning, Richard. Maxwell, Dennis. Ah, I take it this is the Matisse in question? Well, no question in my mind. Hmm. Well, yes. Yes. What do you think? Well, it's certainly worth more than a cursory examination. I like the signature. The colors are good. Proportions are nice. <laughs> the age of the canvas. Yes, the brush strips. That's very interesting. What? What's interesting? Do you know what I think your wife might have bought? What? A very fine work of the great art copier, Meyer Anzelowitz. How can you tell that? Because I smell something here. I know the man and his work always bears the faint but distinct aroma of pastrami. But, uh, that isn't it. There's something else here. Egg salad. Yes, it is egg salad. No, 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 it's not an Anzelowitz. It was my lunch. Richard, this painting rather intrigues me. Do you mind if I take it down to my studio? I'd like to show it to my man. No, go ahead. What intrigues you about it, Jeff? I'm not really sure. But there's something in this, a quality in it, that's rather unsettling. Maybe it's just mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> How's your show today, Max? How is my show? Do you want to hear about my show? No, not really, Max. I was just being polite. <laughs> you may have something there, huh, Jeff? Well, let's see. Dick, do you think that man might have just walked out of here with a million dollar painting? No, we can trust Jeff, can't we? In a world where a man's egg salad sandwich isn't safe, <laughs> there is no trust. Honey? Jenny? Coming. Hi, honey. Hi. Did you show Jeffrey the painting? Yeah. You know, you said it was uh, very unsettling. Unsettling? Yeah. Unsettling. He said that... Um, it definitely was not an Anselowitz. Who's Anselowitz? It's about the best Matisse painter around. Dick, this is very interesting. What's interesting about it? You know that man I told you about who was interested in our painting? Yeah. Well, he called today, and he wants to buy the painting. He must know something. Uh -huh. Honey, have we got a receipt or anything to prove we own that painting? Oh, the cancel check. Good, good. Where's our painting? Jeffrey took it down to his gallery. He said it was intriguing is the word he used. And I think he wants his man to look at it. What man? Well, his art expert, I guess. His art expert? Uh -huh. Dick, do you realize we may own a genuine Matisse? We got some. We know that. You read about these things in the newspapers, but you never really think they can happen to you. Hold on, honey. We haven't been in a newspaper yet. But if our painting is real, Dick, they will be offering us thousands of dollars. Thousands. I mean, I don't even want to think about it. it is... <laughs> Why are you having an egg salad sandwich before dinner? <laughs> it has something to do with art. <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute. I just want to see if he's finished his examination. All right, Maya. They're ready to hear your pronouncement. I'm not ready to pronounce. I'm still Molly. Maya, you haven't made a mistake about that painting, have you? With buying a car and picking a wife, I can make a mistake. But it comes to art, and Zalowitz is inflammable. I think, you, I think you mean infallible. Also, with English, once in a while, I make a mistake. <laughs> considering what to tell the Prestons. Oh, Meyer, is that really necessary? After all, I am in business. Some business. Don't you think of ethics? Why can't we just tell them what it isn't? Oh, and leave out what it is. If we handle this correctly, we can both go back to Europe rich men. Sure, that's good for you. You'll be in Merry England. I'll be back in the Warsaw Ghetto. <laughs> I've got to call them in. Ah. We've, uh, we've still got a deal, right? Can I count on 50-50? You can count on 60-40. Uh, that I knew I could count on. <laughs> okay, bring them in, you gunner. Okay, Jenny, come on in. Uh, I apologize for the state of my storage room, but I've been swamped. Dick, Jenny, allow me to introduce an old friend and confrere, the inimitable Maya Anzelowitz. How do you How do? do? Well, Jeffrey, is, a... is our painting real? I'm afraid not. It's a fake. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Is it worth at least $75? To me, a great deal more. What? Because I love fake art. I own one of the biggest collections in the world. Yeah, there's a millionaire in Texas who has a bigger collection of fakes, but he don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Preston, I'd like to add this painting of yours to my private collection. I'll give you what you paid for it, and I'll sweeten the pie with a painting of your choice. Yeah, you could have a nice Chagall, uh, or, uh, or a Renoir, 
Or, or, or maybe a nice Poussin, all faithfully executed by Meyer and Delowitz. Did you really do these? Yes. Say, you could have, you could have a Rembrandt, you could have a, a Renoir, a Vermeer. Well, take your pick. Well, they're all beautiful. I think I like this for mirror. Boy, Weird. we can look at that. Well, uh, oh. Honey, what do you think? You want to take that one? Uh, could I see you a minute? Would you excuse yes. us? Are you prepared to make a deal? Well, yeah, I am. You see something like that, honey? Our Matisse. Honey, are you kidding? They're going to give us our money back and a Vermeer. Well, it's a fake Vermeer. Well, I like it better than a fake Matisse. Well, who wouldn't? They're all exquisitely friend. Come on, honey, let's take the Vermeer, huh? Well... If you don't mind, I'd like to think this over for a day or two. Honey, what's to think about? Will you look at this? It's a work of a genius. Thank you. Dick, <laughs> your wife is duly suspicious, and I don't blame her. Uh, Mrs. Preston, you still believe in the possible authenticity of your Matisse. Well, I suggest a second opinion. Believe me, it's a fake. I can recommend someone. <laughs> I'd just as soon take it to the museum, thank you. Uh, museums are not inflammable. Uh, inflammable. Inflammable. Yeah, but he said. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, suit yourself. Thanks. Well, my wife's got a suspicious mind. Uh, that's all right, Mrs. Preston. If my wife was more suspicious, we'd still be married. Uh, very suspicious. Thanks. I'll try. Right. We'll be in touch. Yes. Save that Ramirez for me. Yes, yes. Bye. Thank you, Maya. You, you, you conducted yourself brilliantly. Yeah, but they still got the painting. What about the museum? They'll recognize it as a fake. They don't know what we know. And Dick will return for your Vermeer. Well, then I'd better start on another one. You know, those Vermeers go like hotcakes. <laughs> it's not medical center, Dick. Didn't you ever notice that you've never seen more than two doctors in a scene wearing stethoscopes? I'll have to fake this with some black tape. Speaking of fakes, how's your wife's fatigue? Well, she's got it down the museum, checking it out right now. Oh, I thought Jeff was doing that. Well, he thinks it's a fake, but she doesn't believe him. Why? He wants to buy it. Oh, he must know something, right? Well, he knows a lot about fakes. He collects them. Yeah. Dick? Yeah, come on in, honey. Hi. Hi, Max. Oh, hello. What did the man at the museum say? Fake, huh? One glance and they know. Well, how can they be so sure? They've seen the original. Where is it? On the third floor. You actually saw it? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's beautiful, too. Well, honey, what do you think we should do? Do you think I should call that man, see if he still wants to buy this? No, honey, after the show, let's go back down to Jeffrey's gallery. We'll get that Vermeer. I love that. Well, listen, while you are there, would you keep an eye out for a small green baize? It's missing from Margot's dressing room, and I don't trust that saint. Here, I fixed it. Oh, Max, that looks silly. Not if you just keep it in your pocket. Well, I have to examine a patient. Well, then, uh, stick it in your ear fast. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. We'll get our money back and we'll get that nice Vermeer. Well, I know what we're getting, but what is Jeffrey getting? You know, th this whole thing is very unsettling. You want to know something unsettling? Just watch this next scene that I'm on. I have to tell a divorced woman who's going to remarry she's pregnant. <laughs> That's unsettling. Yeah, not only that, I may be the father. <laughs> honey, I'm sorry about the painting. Uh, put your finger there, Preston. Not too hard. That's my Vermeer masterpiece underneath there. I hope uh, we're doing the right thing. Well, perhaps this will comfort you. You now have your lovely Vermeer, which normally sells for $400, plus the $75 you paid for your fake Matisse. Honey, this is really going to make our living room look rich. Uh, watch out. It don't make the rest of your house look shabby. <laughs> I'll see you at the studio, Richard. Okay. Are you uh, still suspicious? No. No, I guess not. On my word, as a gentleman and an Englishman, Matisse did not paint this. Well, it's nice been doing business Goodbye. with you. Goodbye. 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 Don't forget to come back if you need anything. A nice Rembrandt, a Degas, a Van Gogh. That's it. Goodbye. Calling New York? Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Sonny boy, you did it. 27 years I've been looking for this Matisse, and I gave up. Uh, Mr. Van Kassendorf, please. I hope he's still rich. Hello, Van. It's Jeffrey. I'm fine. Do you remember a conversation we had last year when you said that if I could find a fake Matisse that was painted by Pablo Picasso... Yes, I found it. Well, let's just say that it uh, fell into my hands. Authentic? Authentic? Give me that phone. Hello, Van Kessendorf. Uh, this is Anzalowicz. Yeah, it's the painting. Because I was there in Paris when he painted it. Yeah, I'm the one. Look in the book. Paris Days by Ernest Fleckheim. He talks about crazy Maya. That's me. Yeah. Picasso bet me that he could do a better Matisse than Matisse himself. I lost the bet, but I found the painting. Eh, we'll talk price when I see you in New York at lunch. 
You order me a nice hot pastrami sandwich. <laughs> Lean, not fat. <laughs> Maya? Yes? It's just occurred to me that you could easily duplicate this Matisse. Yes, I could, but I wouldn't. Van Kessedorf gets the real fake. I'm a copier, not a crook. Did he? Yeah. Go make me out a check for the fare. Go on. First class, you gun a few. Uh, hello. Buongiorno. Permit me to introduce myself. You're Mr. Leonardo. Yes, yeah. Lucino Leonardo. Your charming daughter. She invited me to wait for your return. This oh. is the man who wanted to buy the painting. And still does. You ever miss the press? Yeah, how's the Brooklyn Bridge going these days? <laughs> what? Never mind. <laughs> Mr. Press, I prepared a very generous offer for your Matisse. How much? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I just wanted to know. Well, I would go as high as a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? Oh, that's got to be a joke. A thousand dollars for a fake Matisse? Ah, oh. it's a fake Matisse, but a fake Matisse painted by Pablo Picasso. What? What? Picasso, Picasso. Picasso? What? You Picasso? Yes, Picasso. That painting was by Picasso? I bought a painting by Picasso? I bought a... <laughs> you made me sell that. Why did you do that? I didn't know it was a Picasso. You, you didn't either. But, but I knew it was something good. And, and Jeffrey, he knew. He knew. That's why he gave us $75 in that piece of junk. That rat. Jeffrey, Santa Suzanne? Yeah. Uh, grande Topo. What? That's a bigger rat. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm gonna take this Vermeer back down there and make him take this dumb thing back. Yeah, and get our Matisse back. Yeah. Come on, let me wrap it. Oh, honey, come on. It's not worth wrapping. No, no, I don't want to scratch it. Then you have a reason to take it back. I don't think you're getting it back. Oh, he's got to give it back, all right. You know, this whole deal is based on fraud, misrepresentation, forgery. And stupidity. Right. He must think I'm pretty stupid. Oh, I certainly do, my God. Well, I do, too. You, hey, come with us. I want you to tell him what you told me. Never mind. I'll tell him myself. Come on, move, move. <laughs> Jeffrey, the deal is off. We found out about that Matisse. Picasso. Yeah, Picasso. We want it back. So do we. Where is it? What do you mean, where is it? Someone stole it. Yes, and you two are one of the suspects. What are you talking about? <laughs> you were the last ones to see the painting. Yeah, when you were here, it was here. When you were gone, it was gone. It was staying... Stan, what did you do, bring a cop? <laughs> cop? I'm Latino Leonardo. I know who you are. What do you want? I come here to negotiate with a legal owner of a painting that no one seems to have. You're too late. Van Kessendorf already bought it. That's my painting. That's illegal. You no, know, she bought that. She didn't know what it was. Now, I came to you to find out, and you withheld information. What do you call that? Good business. <laughs> the kind of business that you put people behind bars. Well, all this is purely academic. None of us has a painting. This is an outrage. I don't believe you. Well, I beg your pardon. We're the ones who should be outraged. You at least have your Vermeer and $75. I don't want my Vermeer. I don't want $75. I want you to take it back and give me that Matisse. There are no returns. <laughs> this is not a department store. This is your merchandise. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Myers, did you do this magnificent Vermeer? <laughs> who, who else does Vermeer these days? It's fantastic. I would like to own this. Oh, I'll give you one just like it. Wait a minute. Here. Give me $400. Maya, where are your priorities? We're trying to discover what happened to our Picasso. And I'm trying to make a living. You don't stop fishing just because one got away. Dick, I think we ought to call the police. And tell them what? There's a strong possibility that there's a thief among us. Just a minute, Susie. Don't include me in that among. Well, that painting <laughs> didn't just walk out. Press, would you be interested in selling a painting? Why? What's the matter with this one? Nothing. But the press and Ramir has something extra. Mm. Whatever it is, I'll put it in. It's nothing you can put in. Well, what is it? What is it? Tell me what it is. It's what? intangible. Intangible? Well, I can put it. I put it in here. I'll put it in there. <laughs> Wait, wait a second. Gentlemen, that's not for sale. I'll give you $750. Sold. Sold. <laughs> Let me take a look on this. Yeah, that's mine. I thought for a minute I painted a real Vermeer. Leonardo, what is it about this painting that would make you pay twice as much as you would for the other one? Let me just say that I have seen something in the painting. Wow, wow. The hand of a genius. Oh, that, thank you. <laughs> Prego. Arrivederci. And grazie. And especially to you, Mr. and Mrs. Preston. Ciao. Congratulations. You two did rather well. I believe you've made a profit of $750. Or uh, minus $75, if you have a sense of charity. You want us to rip up your check? Well, only if you think it would be piggish not to. Well, I don't think that's piggish, do you, honey? Well, what do you call it? Um, 
Good business. <laughs> Come on down here, I want to show you something. Coming. You're going to love it. <laughs> My very own Vermeer painted especially for me. Look at those intangibles. <laughs> what is that? Pastrami? 